Hello ladies, blokes and non-binary folks, it's Ant here and today uh, I've got the Castlevania Advanced Collection because you know I'll, I'll basically buy every Castlevania collection that comes out provided it's not Lords of Shadow which sucked. So this is the Game Boy Advance Collection and naturally because it's the Game Boy Advance Collection that you know, you know the collection of all the Game Boy Advance games such as Circle of the Moon, Army of Distance and Aria of Sorrow. Uh, I'm going to play Dracula X, uh, the SNES game. <laughs> the reason why is I actually quite like this one and it's got a bit of a bad rap for some reason. I know it's not as good as Rondo of Blood. Not many games are as good as Rondo of Blood. Um, but I, I think it's a perfectly fine Castlevania. I mean it's it's missing some of the, you know, the features that Super Castlevania 4 had. But I think it's a pretty solid you know, gaming experience. Um, one thing to note, the screen is really zoomed in right now. Um, I'm going to... Well, zoomed out right now. I am going to, like, zoom the image in to full screen, but the reason it's not fully full screen is because the only screen settings you have on here is the same as what they had on the last one. They have standard, which is, like, uses integer scaling to make a, you know, an accurate screen. There's Pixel Perfect, which makes all the pixels square, which isn't how retro games are supposed to look. you got widescreen, which only monsters do, um, and with a filter. And you can have Pixel Perfect with filter, but the only way to actually get this to fill the screen up um, with it and maintain its ratio is to use the 4-3 with a filter. But, like, I mean, I'll show you in a sec. As I press the wrong button. But, I mean, just look at this horribleness. That's vile. That's... Horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. I don't like scan lines. I don't think they're even. I'm pretty sure they're not even. There's pixel blurring going on. Cannot be allowed. So I'm going to go back to this ratio we got here. And I'm just going to zoom the screen in. And um, I press the start button at the point where I probably would have zoomed the screen in. It'll be fine now. Anyway, we're going to play a little bit. I'm not going to get far because I am bad at this game. Um, I just like it. So, you know, poo to you if you don't like it. <laughs> um, I did, you know, I like my Castlevanias. I, I, I played through Super Castlevania 4 not all that long ago. Um, oh, I did a complete playthrough of it when that last economy collection came out. Um, and yeah, you know, I love Super Castlevania 4, but I, I think this one has plenty of merits all of its own. Let's kill the big guys. I always thought of them as um, Donkey Kong skeletons. Those guys. Um, but yeah, I like the pastel shade look to the background. It's got a sort of comic book aesthetic to the to the uh, background art. Less so the main character sprite, admittedly. Um, he's got a hell of a wall crime. Like you can't, you can't hate that. Oh my god, that was cheeky of him. Did you see that? He threw that really far. I'm gonna hit him. There you go. This back comes for you when you jump. I love the little details, like the way you can see where the the uh, lights coming through the window with the fire, and it's doing that little glow effect around the window. That's that's nice. Right, you need to get this guy to jump because um... oh shit, no one faces the wrong way. Oh, whatever. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, this these guys you can't hit them with your axe when these, these bats. Like if you throw your axe, it doesn't kill them, which is you know rude, really, isn't it? We're gonna jump up here and. Oh, crouch jump. There you go. This does have the whole thing where if you um, fall down, you fall to your death. The bottom of the screen is death, um, no matter what. Super Castlevania does the same thing. If you go. It's a nice test if, you're, um, if your YouTuber you're watching is recording at 60 frames per second. That little uh, heart counter in the top corner will be invisible if you're recording at 30 frames per second. Because for whatever reason they decided the best thing to do with that was to have it flicker on. I hate reducers. Flicker on and off constantly. I fell down the hole. That's a really good start. I was trying to just go and collect a power up, but you know, whatever. Do you know what? I'm not going to collect the power up. The power up can eat a bum hole. I do need hearts though, to be honest. So because we're going to have a boss battle in a minute. That was bad. Um. I've been playing Circle of the Moon on here, which was the Castlevania game I had on the Game Boy Advance. Um, and I remember having that, like the GBA, the original GBA, you couldn't see bugger all on the screen on that on that thing. 
Um, and yeah, it's really weird playing it on this, and it's all like, you know, visible. What the shit? <laughs> God, this is abysmal. This game's not. This first stage isn't that hard. I've done this first stage multiple times. Let's just stay to the top. Sod it. I'll, I'll make it. We'll. Oh, that thing. Hang on. There you go. <laughs> That's a smart one. I've played this game all the times. So I have like have it on an emulator because I'm not gonna own the, 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 the actual cart of this. Because um, if you look up how expensive the cart is, it's a big no. Can you piss off? I hate Medusas. I hate Medusa heads. So you know, maybe this game's bad. Maybe maybe I'm a fool for saying it's good. See that? There you go. No. Oh, this is... I don't like this. Jump. Got it. Right. <laughs> no, don't, don't step back. This doesn't give you permission to do that. Right. Oh, I thought he was going to drop down here. I'm doing really bad. I've only got one life left now, haven't I? I'm pretty sure. Is that a... That's a sword. Not sword. Dagger. I don't like daggers. I like the... The axe is my weapon. Zombas. There's a... This is where the boss comes up. Oh no, you just got to keep going. I remember this. Keep running. Don't stop for anything. There you go. The gaps are a little bit tight. Because that thing, that thing will catch up with you if you take too long. It's kind of funny though, because it's like a simplified version of the bit in um, Rondo of Blood. When that thing comes after you and it just smashes into a wall. But he didn't smash into all that. I say the game's not perfect. <laughs> right, okay, we've hit a checkpoint. You can. Isn't there a way to rewind on this? No. There is. There is a rewind button, but I can't remember what it is. Yeah, we got my axe. That's my good weapon. Can I beat this boss with half my health? Probably not. But yeah, I've been playing Circle of the Moon a bit, and it's bringing bring back memories. It is really weird how... Um... Oh, what does he do? Oh yeah, Fireball. Got your Fireball. No, oh, I went too far forward. I'm not doing a good job of this. That was bad. Do I have another life? Please let me have another life. Because that was really... Yeah, I can continue. Okay, does that continue from there? It continues from the start of the level, doesn't it? Okay, let's do a good version of this. <laughs> I'm not going to mess up this time. I'm going to be perfect. I want to get to level 2. Come on. Alright, we'll just skip this guy. Well, do, 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 do. It's a good version of Bloody Tears, this. This Bloody Tears, and it's not Vampire Killer. Vampire Killer is the other one. I should know. I have like soundtracks to multiple Castlevania games on vinyl and CD. I've got um, I've got Symphony of Night on the PS1. That came with a Castlevania soundtrack, which I think has this version of Bloody Tears on it. From Brightly. Oh shit! Oh my god! Remember when I said I was going to do a good version of this? <laughs> I um, desperately need some health, and I don't think there are many health pickups in in this game. All right, he's going to jump. Come on. Right, let's try going down here because I think if I remember right, there is something useful at the end. It's going to be a money bag, isn't it? It's, that's that's how useful it's going to be. How? How? Let him go over. No, I don't want that. I want the axe. No, you penis bastard. <sighs> Give me that. Give me that. Look, I, I can't be AAA MLG gaming all the time like I normally am on this channel. Now, look, let's hit that. Look at that. That's quite neat. I've got the timing down now. Perfect. You know, see, when, when did I ever get this wrong? Never, that's when. Just 
just really good at the game. It's not just a natural, to be honest. I'm going to be speed running this. Uh, uh, game's done quick, see? Because uh, clearly I'm I'm that good. Um, I'm going to sit through and play the GBA games though. Um, I haven't. I've never played Aria of Sorrow. Aria of Sorrow. Oh, that's the Holy Axe. Could have done with that. I have fallen down these holes before as well. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm amazing at this game. Um, yeah, what was I saying? I'm going to play Aria of Sorrow a bit. I need to I need to play that one. That's one I've never played. I played um, the second one. I like watching him die. Um, I played the second one. Um, Paul had it. And, you know, played it around his on the Game Boy Advance for quite a bit. Um, Circle of the Moon, I think I finished. I feel like I finished it, or I feel like I got quite far through it, despite not being able to see any of the screen. Let's use that, because that's more direct. Have I got enough of these hearts to just heart crash, item crash my way through him? Because that'd be nice. He's not too hard a boss. He's... He jumps in, he does this, and then he does the flame. Right. Jump over that. But you got to not go too close. Let's do that. Do the flame thing. Jump it. Hit it. Ah! Let's hit it with that a few more times. Ooh. There we go, look, I beat him. MLG Pro, man. I told you I was really good at this. Right, can I get that one in midair? Here he goes, it drops in a sec. Ah. Oh. I made it. First time, perfect. And there's a there's a passcode there you can use to get to level two of Dracula Rex. You know, if you feel like it. Um, obviously, it's further than anyone's ever got in this game before. Uh, oh, I remember this bit. There's there's a, isn't there a bit where the bridge collapses underneath you as you're running across it, and then I die a lot. I think, I think a lot of people criticise this one because it isn't as flashy as the Super Castlevania one. It isn't even as flashy as um, as uh, Castlevania New Generation on the Mega Drive. Like that, that game was fantastic. Um, which I do have that. Um, I haven't got a car there. I mean, I've got it on one of these collections. Right, run, jump. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. I, I remember that being a bastard. <laughs> I don't have any items to throw at them, do I? Right, we're going to have to concentrate. Which is what I've been doing all along, obviously. I'm really... No, don't do that. Right. How are you meant to... Do I just keep walking? I'm dead. You know what? I'm bad at this game. Um... I'm pretty sure other people on YouTube have played through it a lot better than I have. Comment below and tell me how bad I am at Dracula Rex slash Vampire's Kiss. That's something. You know what? Look at this. So, in this, you can go to this and you can change it to the European version. I was playing the American version. It's called Vampire's Kiss here. And look at that. Castlevania Circle of the Moon is just called Castlevania. Um, yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Circle of the Moon's gone. Or in Japanese it's called um, Circle of the Moon. Dracula Densetsu Akumo Dracula Duracula. Yeah, Akumo Dracula Circle of the Moon. That was easy. I can't read that one. It says Contorato. Uh, I don't know. It's all in funny. Uh, I can't, it's, I can't read Japanese, I'm really bad at it. But I like that title, look, it's Dracula, it's Sakamo Dracula XX. But anyway, that's the thing. Anyway, I'll put it on European, I don't want European, do I? I want it on American. Cheers for watching. Um, sorry. I'm really bad at the game. I should have played, like, Aria of Sorrow. 
probably would have got further into it. Would have been able to show you more of the game. But you know what? I just thought it'd be fun to check out the SNES game they put on this Game Boy Advance collection. Because the Game Boy Advance games are going to be the ones that get all the attention. So anyway, cheers for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye. Tell me if you want me to play Aria Sorrow next time or something. You know, I'll, I'll show you it. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>